Today we're gonna make some rocket fuel. Since we're just testing it today, we'll just start with a small batch and we'll make about 50 grams or so of uh, rocket fuel. And to do that, we're gonna weigh out 30 grams of potassium nitrate and 20 grams of sugar. Now this is just ordinary table sugar. sugar in a single beaker and we're just mixing that up now and then we're going to add it to the pan here which is uh, already warming up and we should see it start to melt here pretty quickly. Now we just want to get these melted together. We want to kind of caramelize the sugar uh, with the potassium nitrate in it rather than burning the sugar. So we want to be careful that we don't burn it. That's looking really good. Just like making candy. All right, now that's gotta cool for a little bit. And then we're gonna make some rocket engines. Yeah. still pretty hot, but I'm gonna try to get a few of these kind of wrapped up in some aluminum foil. We wanna get some pieces that we can test and see if they're gonna provide a good amount of thrust or not. Almost looks like a little rocket fuel burrito. call that a pretty good success. I think we were able to make some good rockets, uh, well, at least some good rocket fuel. Now, next week, we're gonna make some rockets. Well, they'll be pretty simple, basic, homemade rockets, but we're gonna make some rockets, so make sure you come back and check that one out. I think it'll be a lot of fun. 
uh, but I enjoyed this. This was a good time and uh, pretty cool to just see how two things mixed together like that can provide such an, a, a vigorous reaction, something that, that really just takes off and, and goes crazy. So I think that's good enough to make a rocket with. So come back next week and check that out. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please click that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here. And aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.